with Docker Hub installed on your laptop or desktop, we can now look at installing a database. And in this particular video, I'm going to show how to install Oracle 23 uh, database or Oracle 23 AI database, or sometimes you'll see it as 23C database, which is kind of the previous pre-release name of it, right? Um, now, if you're using uh, Apple Silicon, there's a, another Docker container you need to install um, and being able to run at the same time as the Oracle uh, Docker image, and it, it works fine. So I have it running on a Apple M1 chip, uh, but I know people with you know, M2 and M3s have been able to run it without any problems. So in order to do the installation, we have this kind of very simple command. Uh, we're just going to install it, you know, setting up the ports that we want to use, which is the standard uh, 1521 for an Oracle database. We're going to set up a system-wide uh, password of just syspass1. And then we're just going to take, you know, the, the current release of that version of the database. So we're going to copy that command. So I'll put a, um, a link to this post in, uh, in the comments for the video. So we're going to take a copy of that. And then we're going to just going to open up a, a terminal window. Let me just make that a little bit bigger. We're just going to paste that command in and we're going to let it run. So it's going to go to Docker Hub and be able to open up that image or find that image and then the code on it and being able to, to let that run. Now this will take a few minutes to, to run. Um, so depending on your network connection and the speed of your machine, um, it'll just take a few minutes. So we just let this run and complete each of the different stages. So it's after downloading everything, it's now extracting um, the different kind of elements of the Docker image. And once it's done, then it should be kind of complete. So if we go to our uh, Docker uh, desktop, we get to see that we have something that's like what we have here. Okay, so we get to see it and it's already up and running. Now, if we want to uh, stop it and start it, so you're probably not going to let this run all the time. You're going to stop it whenever you need to stop. Just take it a few seconds to shut down. And similarly then, if you want to kind of reuse it or use it at a later stage, you'll go and press the play button, which will be kind of where the stop button is. It just takes a few seconds for it to start up. Now, this is an enterprise database, so, so there's lots of code there that needs to be kind of run behind it. Now, the next thing we need to do is be able to connect to the database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use VS Code. So I've shown this in other videos about being able to connect to 23AI on the cloud or to the virtual machine, but I'm going to create a new um, connection. And we just need to kind of verify some of this information. So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is say call it Docker, um, 23 AI, and I'm going to do is the first one is going to be system, All right? So this is just a free format text, so you can put in anything you want. We're just going to put in system there, and then we have our sys password one. So where do we get that? Is if I just go back to um, the image here. We get to see this is the, the password that's been set. So sys password one. So we'll go back to our VS code. I think I typed that incorrectly. What we want to do is you want to go uh, localhost 1521. And this is going to be the name of the database is going to be, if I scroll down, it should be free PDB. So which is pluggable database one. So we'll just put that in there. Just make sure you type it correctly. And then we can do a test to see if it works. 
Right, and what we get, yeah, it worked, so we can save that. But before we save it, we need to make sure we click on this particular check button, so that way we don't have to pa pass the password anymore. Right, once we do that, we get our connection. Where is it? Here it is here, Docker. So we'll go into here. And we get to see is we're connected now to the database because we're getting the connection symbol. Um, so just like in the previous videos, you're, you're never going to use the system user because that's like the administrator of the, of the database. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new SQL worksheet for that connection. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new schema. So We're going to create a, a new user I'm going to call it my that's one identify by dot okay now we can do control enter or we can do the run button we get the user uh, created and you know just like what we would have done in kind of previous ones you know, we can do, if I can go back and find all that, um, we can grant it some privileges on the database. So to grant those privileges, we can do uh, grant the developer. succeeded and then what we can do is we can um, open up a new connection to that particular user and that's you know kind of if you want to have lots of different schemas or users in the database you go through the same kind of thing so using our naming conventions so docker 23 ai let's call that or all case it doesn't matter. We're going to do the same connection locations which will be local host 21 servers and we have our free logable db1. Do our test to make sure that works. We pass this so we're connecting and we can save that and we get our user there double click on it do our connection and we can use it in exactly the same way as um, any other schema that would in the database create our objects and do lots of different things